All right, welcome. If you are trying to get to the front part of your grill or you're trying to get to, uh, your um, whole front fixture out, this is the F-Gen. Uh, I think it's from 87 to uh, 93, something like that. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to pop this off. So what you need is anything like this. So this is specifically a pop river tool for popping the heads off. I'll show you right now. Look closely. All you do is you stick it underneath the little head like that and you basically pull. And these are pretty much disposable. You can reuse them, just as long as they don't break. Just like that, you can pop them all the way out. Some are like that, they all don't go that way, but what you wanna do is you wanna pop off this whole entire plastic piece up here. Yours should look very, very similar. Okay, just like that. All right, follow me so far. Pop off this whole piece, doing all that pop rivets, boink, boink, boink. And it does help if you some way or somehow invest in a kit that is similar to this variety set it helps helps keep one on hand too especially you know if you're just dyi or um really anybody these things break and pop all the time on cars all right and you might have to pop off the cable you might have to snip something there might be a wire tie holding it in place so little fyi there yeah and this comes off just like this hum 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 all right, so let's say you're now at the grill. So what you do, this is actually really, really easy. Um, it just looks like those C-clips like that. So what you do, I'll put it back in for you, is you just take your finger and you push up on it and you pull at the grill at the same time, just like that. See how the bottom one's stuck on me? I'll just pull up on it and see how it came up like that. Okay. The other, other side is the same way. And if it's still stuck in there, fair heads up. Let me see if I can get the camera pointed at a good angle for you. Give me just a second. If you're stuck, look at like holes like this. There might be a screw holding it in right there, but that's really it. it. Might be one on the other side, but that's it. Just fair heads up on that. All right, so take a look at this guy. This is my new one I'm throwing in. It is aftermarket. I kind of went for a slight little, uh, I don't know what you want to call that, not original look. It's all about what you want for your truck. There's no right or wrong here. All right, Bob Ross had it right. All right, so, and uh, but yeah, this is it. It's a very, very, very awkward, big light assembly. So, yeah, very beautiful, very beautiful. I think this one's from uh, Taiwan Nainese or something. I don't know. Anyways, all right, so I did want to point this out. If you look at the top of this, if you're trying to just adjust this, and that's the whole reason you're in the video, and uh, you notice that your lights are out. This is actually really, really simple, guys. All you have to do, this here is my passenger side, is, I don't know if you can see this, but there's these two um, hex sizes up here. And what you do is you get you uh, the size for this, and I'll get you that size here in just a second. And you don't even have to take off. If you're just trying to adjust your lights, you don't even have to go this far. All you do is you pop your hood, and there it is, and they're smiling at you and then you adjust it, just like that. But you also wanna make sure that whatever you're looking at is farther away than that. Uh, just like a wall, go find a wall near a commercial area, your garage or something where um, you're up against something and then that way you can compare from a distance and make sure your lights are the same. And you want it, you want your beam at about, you know, um, you don't want it shining in people's faces but you want it to project um, straight ahead of your vehicle um, that's that's flush with this that's that's the way lights are supposed to be um, so you just adjust it to where it's about four to five feet and it just keeps on going and going and going if you have purchased an aftermarket um, really good tip here is I think that you should just install it and if it needs adjustment then just go from there because this is probably already adjusted for me so yeah you look how nasty this side looks it's all dull there are no cleaners that i'm aware of on the market that puts it back to this there's a bunch of them that are like, yeah we it makes it look like new yeah it doesn't really work it doesn't work save your money save your your 15 10 20 bucks sandpaper doesn't work the kits don't work nothing works nothing works what stinks oh yeah by the way inspectional they do a proper inspection, they'll fail you for cracks like that. Um, which is why I got new ones. So, but anyways, uh, yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, what stinks is after 
after uh, your vehicle sits in the sunlight, the UV rays will damage plastic. It's not just Ford plastic, it's not just Chevy plastic, it's plastic in general. Um, they actually used to make these out of glass, and well, glass doesn't fade like this. So yeah, another little tip I'm going to share with you is until you are rolling out of the shop, rolling out of your garage, rolling out and you are done, keep this plastic on and this plastic will just help you keep any um, nooks uh, or uh, scrapes or any uh, contaminants from getting on your finished product. Yep. If you are removing this, all you do, these are going to be pop riveted in and basically just look at it. This one's just like a pan head like that. You just pull it and it pops out. One on top, one on the bottom there. And you can wait to disconnect your, uh, your bulbs in the back. It's totally up to you. If your batteries are in the way, it will make it a little bit harder to uh, remove the bulbs. So it just kind of depends on what you're doing. So you can, this is an older truck, so there is plenty of room to get your hand back there, assuming you have a smaller hand. All right, again, you do not have to take out the batteries on this. It just kind of depends on if you feel like it or not. But what you do is you take this light here. This is a 7 16th. And you just reach up in here, and there's a little nut. Looks like that. Just reach over here. Try to show it to you best I can. Way back up in there. And he slides on that bolt right there. Goes right in there, and you'll see him if you just poke your head on the inside of that. 7 16ths, pop him off and it just wobbles right off and then there's a stud down below I'll point to you in just a second right there which this fixture kind of just goes around as well and that's really it and then I think you understand how to take all this off um, if you're stuck oh yeah these are aftermarket by the way um, you just turn it these the style is uh, you twist the base and uh, you pull looks like that see Yay. I have the little bitty cute fan in the back, it turns on, keeps it nice and cool. Alright, anyways, and the blinker is the same thing, you turn the base, pops out, looks like that. I upgraded, I like my LEDs. So anyways, yeah, so that's how you remove it. If you are trying to, um, if you're trying to change these out, get to it, uh, inspect, yeah, there you go. There is the detail of the bottom one I almost forgot to mention, and I actually just snapped mine. I should have knew better. However, in my defense, this is very old plastic. What, it's a uh, 33, 32 year old truck. So, I mean, what do you expect plastic to do? But if you look, let me kind of get it to where, okay. So, this is the top side. You're looking at this like the top side. There with my bar. And the bar sticks up in there. Follow me so far, I'm trying not to confuse you. So the bar goes up there like this. Okay, see that thing in my in my right hand there? Sticking up? That's the adjustment for the bottom. A four millimeter works great for this. Let's say it's still in the truck like that. These are your top ones and your bottom ones, the adjustment for your bottom ones right there, okay? Looks like that. Um, another tip. Do not use impact just in case if it is brittle. You want to do it by hand. It'll take a little bit longer. Yeah, this one was seized up, but you know what? It's just better to do it with, on hand with this sort of thing, okay? Four magic millies, okay? Four. Fits great. Love it. And hey, if you don't have the magic millies, guess what other size does it? You're looking at it. It's a five. 30 second will do the same just bar. Okay. Five second, four magic millies. Got me? Okay. Look at this. See? You don't even have to take anything off. If you're just trying to adjust your lights, there's one right there. There's one right there. And then there's your other one right there hiding behind this clip. So easy. And yeah, that one is the bottom one that I was talking about. Bottom, right there. Tops, top angle, bottom angle, bottom angle. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice and pretty grill. All right, so these little bitty clips, 
go on the back of this. You should probably see me pushing that in there. It looks like that. There's an L. Let's see if I can get some flash going on for you. There you go. And what you do is you just slide these on that. That way, when you're putting the screws on, looks like that. But anyways, yeah, as far as getting it in here, it's actually a lot more simple than it looks. You're like, how'd you do that, man? How'd you do that? You just basically just take the metal arms like that, and you just kind of pull them up, and just kind of slightly warp the plastic, and it just, it just slides right in there. It's not hard at all. So easy. So easy. It's going to be so nice when it's done. Ooh, Lord, that looks different right there. That just ain't the same old kind of ugly that we all used to seeing now. Ooh, boy, make some look like some else. Hey, thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. I spend a lot of effort and a lot of my time uh, holding the camera and showing you how all this stuff goes apart and in theory goes back together. Um, but yeah, this is all aftermarket. The lights are even half aftermarket. They wasn't even actually quite the dimensions they were supposed to be. So, but uh, I made it work. But anyways, uh, yeah, subscribe. And uh, strokes may go when you do. No, but really, it, 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 it makes me want to make more videos and help you get on your way with cool stuff like this. Because the other way, this was pretty ugly, if you don't remember. Uggy, uggy. So, um, it's a little bit better. It's not, definitely not no Porsche. Snow Ford. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed.